Congratulations to Eric Leonard Visser of the Philippines for winning the Mr. Universe Tourism title. Let's learn more about Eric. Eric is a mix of Dutch and Filipino descent. His hometown is Cebu City. He previously held a number of titles, including Jinung Pilipinas 2019 and a finalist placement in the Century Tuna Superbot 2022. Visser, a property manager and licensed private pilot, attended Silliman University in Dumaguete City to study psychology. He is managed by Admire Models Philippines, a Dexter Alazis company. Greetings from the Pilipinas pageant. We have a little request before we go any farther. If you enjoy what you see, please consider supporting us by subscribing to our channel. We'll be very grateful for it. Thank you. Eric Leonard Visser was eager to represent the Philippines at the Mr. Universe Tourism pageant the following year in Jakarta, Indonesia, when he was named Jinung Pilipinas in 2019. However, the pandemic struck, and the Filipino Dutch chose to play the long game in order to maintain momentum. The model from Cebu said, as the months passed, it became obvious to me that the pageant might not happen at that time, so I decided to keep myself busy and made sure I stay healthy and fit. Since the gyms were closed, I made the decision to work out on my own by doing home workouts, swimming, and hiking. I was hopeful that the pageant would go on when things started to pick up again, and that is how I ended up where I am today. Eric won the most recent Mr. Universe Tourism competition, which was held in Bali, Indonesia, after almost three years. Jinung Pilipinas taught me that I need to concentrate on my objectives. It suddenly became very real for me because I had been quite carefree up until the pageant night, according to Visser, who also competed for Cebu City in the Century Tuna Superbots 2022 competition. Being raised in the Philippines after being born in the Netherlands has its advantages and disadvantages. In the Netherlands, people are very organized, stern, straightforward, and down-to-earth. People in the Philippines tend to have upbeat personalities and a laid-back outlook on life. You can achieve the best of both worlds by combining those two schools of thought. Being biracial can make it difficult to fit in, on the one hand. The racism I encountered is one of the things I discussed when I joined Jinung Pilipinas. I wasn't really considered a true Pinoy because I'm half Filipino. Despite my desire to be recognized as a Cebuano and a Filipino, people constantly mistake me for a foreigner. I wouldn't have made it this far without all of your help, and believe me when I say, I have put all my heart and soul to bring home the Mr. Universe Tourism crown, Visser said in a speech to his supporters. I was successful because of my Filipino heart and the Filipino spirit that drove my desire. Congratulations once more, Eric. I want to thank you again for watching our videos. If you're interested in seeing more of these videos, click the notification bell and subscribe to this channel. You guys should keep a watch out for our next video. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.